Oh my god. Okay, I'm Peggy. Y'all knew that. Okay, I'm here with my hubby. We just celebrated our 25th. <laughs>
cutting in the vegan cheat slime because that thing is going to get long. First stop. So this is probably the only thing I'm going to eat while I'm here and I'm going to get a few things to take home. I just got um, vegan treats and then this is from Oh My Cod. It's the fish and chips and it comes with slaw and last time I was here I got it last year but I, they said I could put it in the air fryer so I took it home but I didn't like it. I think but it looks so good it has to be banging. but I think it's just better if you just eat it right away. So it's Oh My Cod. I believe they're out of Florida. The slaw also, it looks pretty good. I like coleslaw. Woo! Dripping the dressing off. So let's try a, a French fry. We are typical, like, fast foodish French fry. My seahorse earrings. My work co worker. She um, makes them. They give you tartar sauce. I'm one handed. I didn't bring the right top thing for my phone. I'm using my phone. Um, tartar sauce. Smells legit. Just said tartar sauce. I got lemon. I'm going to squeeze some lemon on the fish. I'm excited. This is the only thing I'm going to eat here, though. And then I'll, they have some soul food and stuff. I'm going to get that take out. Share it with my hubby. Okay. This is the... They make... The fish is made out of... Um, What's it called? The Blossom. You could, I guess you could buy that, they say, at the Asian um, store. Um, banana Blossom. Banana Blossom. I'm eating my hair, too. Oh, God. The tartar sauce is legit. Hmm. Good. I didn't like it taken home. I ate it the same day, but taken home and air fried, I just didn't care for it. Let me, um. Oh my God. Coleslaw, the dressing's like light. It's not like a thick mango, which some people like it real creamy, but this is perfect for me. Oh, yeah. mm, but bang him. Um, besides the fish, they have the fish. They have a um, whole seafood basket. You can get this fish and chips was seventeen bucks. I mean, we're at a festival. They're not cheap. I already spent almost fifty dollars at vegan treats, and I got four things. Um, they also have like, is it buffalo shrimp? They have a couple different shrimp things. Um, they have egg rolls, crabby egg rolls. And then they have another side where they're selling coconut water. And I don't know, maybe it looks kind of like pina colada. So, yeah. 2023 Veg Fest. This is today. This is June um, 3rd. It's also June 4th. Two days. I think my final rating for this on my pod is very good. I get like 7.5. Take care of yourself. And then get back out and get back out there. You know, you have to you have to be good here before you do anything else. Three to four free yoga over there. Uh, yeah, Great so that's, teacher. Yeah, that's really good to get centered. Lancaster Farm Fresh Co-op. They're the ones that have the fresh organic veggies. We're in Lancaster, so. I got a, a bundle of dandelion greens and some garlic steaks. Garlic steaks. They are so good. I think there's only a short season for those. I got this Lagos. If this is spinach. And it said it'll self-seed. And it can take the heat like the sun. I'm getting some mac and cheese. I'm going to take it home for my, with, eat it with my husband. <laughs> There's a rendezvous truck. You know, we go to there a lot when we go to vegan treats in Bethlehem. Okay, so that would probably, yeah. It's like a blend. Okay. All right. I just got the chocolate peanut butter cheesecake.
that chicken parm. This is the chicken parm. I thought it was just going to be a cutlet, but I guess I should have known because it, it was next to the cheesesteak. But for $16, it's like a half a one. I wouldn't have got it. It's way too small for $16. I know it's a festival, but my God. pretzels. They're like rolling out the pretzel dough back there. Flat belly veg. I guess I'm gonna get a chicken quesadilla. My husband really likes chicken quesadilla. I think I'm gonna get an iced coffee. Hey, so I'm walking back to my car now. You're never gonna believe that I freaking lost my phone. I almost had a heart attack. I was trying to think, uh, first I, I remembered I got a sample of nutritional yeast, it's barbecue flavor. I don't eat a lot of nutritional yeast, but barbecue flavor, but I have yeast and I do yeast sometimes. But I was trying to think of the, of the booth that I spent the most at, or a long time. And I went to this one booth and I picked up some pamphlets. It was the physician committee booth. And that's where, um, that's where my phone was. I was so scared. Oh my gosh. So it's almost five o'clock, so it's about time for the veg fest to close, but now I need my car. You don't realize how far you parked until you have to walk back to it, because you're all amped to get there. Then when you leave, you're like, I'm tired. My feet are probably be tired tomorrow. I'm gonna show you the rest of the stuff. You know, I bought some other things to eat. Some stuff I showed you guys, some stuff I didn't. Um, but I'm gonna share with my husband when, when I get home or later tonight. It, it seems like there was a most vendors today. A lot of people, but not too packed. The lines were okay, and it's on tomorrow. By the time you see this video, it'll be over, but in all, it's still in all, it'll give you like, it'll make you um, think about next year. You know, do you, every year is just gonna get more epic. So next year, um, maybe you wanna come, but also there's a Philly Veg Fest, Phoenixville Veg Fest. There's gonna be a Chester County one, which is I think this year's, I guess it's like the first one. So come on. We're vegan strong out here. I got this nutritional yeast. This is a sample. I think I told you guys that. Smoky barbecue flavor. I heated some stuff up here. Uh, I'm going to say that the past veg press, the first one we went to was DC, right? Oh, and I got this. When we move, I want to hang this up. It's so cute. But the past veg fest that we went to, we would always get like soul food platters. That's how we found new vegan and Jamaican platters and you get a whole bunch of food. I mean, it'd be like 16 bucks, but it'd be a lot of food. There was none of that. I didn't see that at all. So this is half of the chicken parm and it was 16 bucks. So, and this is, there's one more triangle of quesadilla. I think that was 12 or 14. And this is how much mac and cheese wasn't expensive, but I mean, wasn't like a lot of money, but for how much you get, it was only $5. I think the empanada was like around six. And they gave us, you could get hot or mild. Like there's a little bit of salsa if you pour it for your bite for the um, for the empanada. So let's try the mac and cheese. You already tried the pretzel, you said it was good. Pretzel was only $5. That's about half of it. Bread crumbs. Yeah, bread crumbs on top. I don't taste no cheese. I didn't think it would be so small. I didn't realize I mean, that. I wouldn't have got it probably. They also have pizza. They were seven dollars a slice. <laughs> what am I right? Quesadilla. Mm -hmm. This is the bigger one. You want the bigger one? This would be a chicken and cheese. This is what it looks like inside. A little smoky. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Need some okay. sauce. No, it would really be good here. Mm -hmm. You need like a taco sauce. I'll say some green chilies or something. What do you put in here? Yeah. Pretzel's pretty good. It could be a little thicker. Yeah. But it kind of has a flavor of any and a little bit. Yeah, it does. 
I'm most excited about the empanada. I would say the oh my god, it's kind of like they do it themselves. Everything they don't use chicken cutlets, nothing they use. I don't. They might use vegan shrimp though, but um, I don't know. I I feel like there's they put more into it. Their slaw was so good. And you could see that's inside. It's beyond. They're vegan beyond meat in here. I smell peppers. I don't smell like sofrito or nothing like that. I smell bell pepper, right? It's a little spicy. Oh, that's mild, so that's probably it. This is a good pop. Mm hmm. It's good. They use some more meat, by the way. Mm hmm. I could use some more flavor in the meat, though. It's yeah, we do. It's probably the most satisfying to me to the dry. Yeah, I bet. I can't try new desserts today no more. What did I have earlier? I had something I thought. Mmm, this crust is banging. Yeah, this crust is different. This crust would even be banging for like a dessert. Yeah. Empanada. Mmm. Now I went to Vegan Treats. Uh, so you get your cakes. And I was out with these all day, but they always hold up. It wasn't real hot. It was a little humid yesterday. But usually when you have these individual cakes, see they move in the box. So they take the bottom part down. Nothing's taped down. So I had them, I didn't know when I just opened the box now that they were, they must have been, the peanut butter one was like slid right into the other one because they're supposed to take the bottom down. Even, forget the veg fest is even more because you're, they know people are walking around. I got this donut, the sprinkle donut. I usually wouldn't start my day off with a damn donut. I mean, let's be real. I'm like really tired. Really, it seemed like the festival is like really growing. I know one year I went there, raw food, Kepper was there, and he has like the best, the best raw food I've ever had, period, like point blank, but it's kind of like Caribbean style, and oh, it's so delicious. I did see coconut water. I could have got coconut and um, pineapple. I didn't. Uh, it looked like maybe they were making pina coladas with a half a pineapple. I got four magnets from this one vendor. This says fat, happy, and vegan. It's like a rhino. It's cute. No glasses on, black tea. And then this one says vegan, and there's like two horsies and a piggy. And this says vegan for the animals, a little bunny. Now what's this one? Oh, still vegan. <laughs> With the like gorilla and these glasses. Um, I really wanted the piggy one. When I grew up, I ate a lot of pork. I mean, that's what. It's what you eat, you eat. I mean, I'm half Puerto Rican, so a lot of pork involved, and Italian, so. Um, and piggies are so cute and so smart, it's a shame. But, um, and everybody likes bacon and all this stuff, but, oh, it's so unhealthy at that. But um, these are not healthy by any means, period. But I went there because I knew they're good. And This here, these two cakes, this donut, and then one tiramisu was about... Oh, I want to say um, maybe around 46 or 48 bucks. Panada and panadilla, whatever you want to call it. That was like the best thing. The, the crust was so flaky. He's like, you should have got two of these, but how do I know? You know, there's 11 to 12 VIP. I tried to get that, but it was sold out because I waited too long. It's my fault. You get a bag and goodies in there. And then I left late because I wanted to get there at 12. By the time I found parking and stuff and got to the vegan treats, it might have been even... One or one fifteen. <laughs> this was the last donut left. But their donuts are banging, so. Alright, thank you so much for watching.